Hello guys, this is Mauro from Infotech.com and on this video I want to show you a quick tour of the uh, Windows 10 build 14901. This is the um, first preview part of the uh, Redstone 2 update that insiders are getting right now and it does include a lot of changes because Microsoft is actually right now um, making some under the hood um, uh, changes so later on they can start adding features to the operating system. However, there are some uh, new changes that I wanted to show them to you. And first is the uh, now um, Windows users are going to get on any new major update. They're going to be seeing a new notification on File Explorer. And they can quickly, this, is, this aims to let people know what new features are included on the operating system with each major update. If you don't like, if you want to opt out from these notifications later on, you can simply come to the um, uh, File Explorer, click Options on the uh, on the tab view, click Options, on Folder Options, just go to View, and then you just scroll down and find the um, Show Sync Provider notifications, you can check that, and click OK, and you won't see those notifications popping up every time a new version of Windows releases. So that's pretty much all the uh, new features and changes on this build. But that is worth pointing out that uh, Microsoft Edge is not getting new features or visual effects. But on the uh, experimental side, when you go to About Flags, we're going to see that uh, we're going to see more uh, HTML5 standards being added to the um, web browser and we're going to see now this new composition engine engine is new you can change that to a stable self coast or canary also uh, there are some changes on webrtc now we get a, a new options to enable webrtc version 1.0 service workers it's a it's a new feature coming to the uh, web browser to allow uh, edge to support uh, rich offline experiences, uh, background sync, and cache storage, in even uh, push uh, push notifications and other features um, natively on the uh, on the web browser without the need of an extension. Uh, I'm I'm not pretty sure that it's the um, the new feature. It's enabled, but I, I don't I don't think it actually works. But that's the point of having an uh, experimental feature section, which we know that it might or might not work. So we have that. And also, we get a new uh, fetch networking that we can enable, enable fetch base uh, network stack. And those are the uh, new improvements that Microsoft working on for Microsoft Edge. So that's pretty much all that's new on this bill. Uh, remember to like the video and share it and leave a comment. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing.